The MV Aegean Odyssey docks at Tartus, where we begin our Syrian adventure. Sirius classical ruins and bustling souks are out of a 1001 Arabian Nights fairy tale. In three days, we visit three of Syria's five World Heritage Sites. The Crusaders came to Syria in the 11th century and built some magnificent castles, including this one, Crac de Chevalier. Crac de Chevalier is one of the best preserved castles in Syria. T.E. Lawrence called it one of the finest castles in the world. Its halls, courtyards, tunnels and moat remind me of the movie Kingdom of Heaven. From the towers, there are views across the landscape and the village where Aramaic, Jesus' mother tongue, is still spoken. In 1271, after Jerusalem had been lost and the Christians were retreating, the knights of the castle abandoned it and negotiated safe conduct to Tripoli. Of Syria's five World Heritage attractions, Palmyra is the star. Built by the Romans, Palmyra was a great desert city and a bustling trading post for caravans carrying silk spices, dates and slaves between Arabia, Mesopotamia and the Mediterranean. I'm sitting on the edge of Queen Zenobia's private swimming pool. Queen Zenobia was the Queen of Palmyra. She chased the Romans out of Palmyra and within six years conquered a third of the Roman Empire. Palmyra is located in an oasis about 250 kilometres from Tartus and 215 kilometres from Damascus. The town has a museum, a few local hotels and restaurants and an assortment of scarf, curio and leather shops. We sail from Tartus to Latakia overnight and board buses for a shore excursion to Aleppo. Aleppo was once the capital of Yamhad, a powerful kingdom of the Middle East during the Middle to Late Bronze Age. The highlight of Aleppo is visiting the citadel in the Old City and wandering through the labyrinth of alleyways in its crowded souk. Thank you. 